Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it's fun to learn all the different, like, ins and outs of all the different options. Uh, hello. Sorry. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Awesome. So, what uh, would you like to go over today? Um, chemistry. Chemistry, got it. And this is a college chemistry course, right? Yeah. Okay. I can only see the top of your head, by the way. But that's a nice zebra striped thing that you have <laughs> on. Um, so, okay, do you have any, any of your, your chem work like readily available? Um, no. Okay. So, what about some classwork or anything like that? So I get an idea of, of exactly, you know, what you're dealing with in your class? Well, we're going over um, significant figures. Oh, yeah. That's one of the most annoying things in chemistry. Um, so, all right, then. What do you know? Tell me what you can tell me about significant figures. Um, what, yeah, so let's say you're measuring something, right? Let's say, uh, I don't know, you want to take the measurement of I don't know, like, let's say I'm drinking this kombucha over uh -huh. here. Yeah. And it says 16 fluid ounces, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what is the difference between 16 and 16 with a decimal point after it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the difference is that 16 by itself mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you know anything about what comes after. 16 could be 16, like, 0.2, 16.9, right? Mm -hmm. But if there's a decimal point after that, that means mm -hmm. it's 16.0, like 0. .0. Okay. So, so, there's, so if it's just 16 mm -hmm. versus 16 with a decimal point after that, Mm -hmm. You get that decimal point adds a significant figure. It means that that the thing that comes after the decimal point counts as a significant figure. Oh, okay. So it's just an additional, um, it's an additional indication as to the precision of your measurement. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Can we like do some like practice problems with significant figures? Sure, sure. So, okay. So let me ask you. So, what what are the rules for significant figures? Um. Um. All non-zero digits are significant. Correct. Uh -huh. Zeros in between two non-zero digits are significant. Correct. Leading zeros are never significant. Good. And, um, what about trailing zeros? Oh, they're only significant if there's um, a decimal point. Correct. Good. So, so let's say you have... 5,080. Mm -hmm. Now compare that with 5,000, or rather compare that with, okay, so how many significant digits are there in 5,080? Um, one? Well, okay, so the five counts, right? Because it's a non-zero yeah. number. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. The eight counts because it's a non-zero number, right? Oh, um, yeah. And then what about that zero that's in between five and eight? It counts, so because, it's three. 
Because of what? Why does it count? Um, because it's in between. Good. Non-zero digits. What about that last zero? Oh. It in, counts too, right? For 5,080? That Wait, last no. zero? No. Because yeah. it's mm -mm. what type of zero? Um, trailing zero? Good, good, good. So, so overall, how many significant figures do you have there? Four. Um. Or so it's three. Three, right? Yeah. What about 5,080 with a decimal point at the end? It's four. Good. Because of that decimal point, right? Yeah. Because that decimal point indicates that you know that there is exactly 5,080, whereas without the decimal point, mm -hmm. you don't know that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's less precise. Um, okay. What about... What about 6 million? Um, okay. is it seven? Well, six million, no decimal point. Wait, is it zero significant figures? Well, all right, so think about, so like, you know, the four things, leading zeros, in between zeros, non-zero digits, trailing zeros, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So for six million, right? Mm -hmm. The six is a non-zero digit, right? Yeah. All the zeros afterwards, what type of mm -hmm. zeros are there? Are they? Um, leading zeros? Leading zeros? Wait, no, no. Um, is it trailing zeros? Mm hmm Yeah, trailing, anything that's tra- that's, like, a tra- that's trailing is going to be behind. Mm hmm And leading will be in front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm Think about, like, you know, a trailer, right? Like, it's- attached to a car and the car is that is the thing in front of it right yeah or like in a movie you know what a movie trailer is uh-huh so a movie trailer i mean the name trailer comes because they would basically add that to the end of the film reel for the movie mm -hmm. so that's why it's called a trailer or you know if someone is trailing you like in when you're driving your car they're behind they're behind you or okay. let's say you're trying to capture someone or hunt or something, and you, <laughs> you pick up someone's trail, right? Mm -hmm. You pick up, you're, you're behind them, and you're, you're trying to catch them, but it's what they leave behind. So think of uh, anything regarding the word trailing or trailer to be behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And leading will be from the front. Yeah. So, so again, for 6 million, right, you have mm -hmm. one non-zero digit, right? The 6? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what are all the rest of those zeros? Are they trailing zeros or leading zeros? Um, trailing. And do trailing zeros count? No, because it doesn't have a decimal point. Perfect. So 6 million has how many significant figures? One. Yes. Make sense? It's pretty counterintuitive mm -hmm. and weird, which is why I think it's a little annoying, but yeah.
That's the gist. What about a uh, six hundred and sixty-seven million? It's two, right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> now. I, I'm gonna so in the chat feature here on uh, zoom I'm going to write down some numbers and you can tell me you know the number of significant digits here so let's say we have okay let's say we have so okay I can give you a bunch of these types of questions but I want you to understand like why significant figures exist okay because let's like for instance like in in this like kombucha thing it says 12 or, or 16 fluid ounces right mm -hmm. but so okay if i said 16 fluid ounces right i'm writing it out in the chat mm -hmm. um so okay how many uh sig figs are in 16. Two. Good. What about sixteen point zero? Um, three. Yes. Because you do have a trailing zero, but it is after um, it is after yeah, um, your decimal point. Oh, so what okay. this means is that. If you were to have just 16 without the decimal point, mm -hmm. that 16 lacks that degree of precision. That 16 could be 16.0, 16.9, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you 16.0, you know mm -hmm. that it is 16.0. There's no ambiguity there. Oh. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. What about this? It's two, right? So, yeah, what's up? Dirty. It's two or three. Right. So, 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 okay. The, the five counts because it's a non-zero digit. Mm -hmm. And then the leading zeros do not count. So the 0, .0 yeah. 0.0 does mm -hmm. not count. Mm -hmm. And then the trailing zeros count if the number contains a decimal. So that zero after that five mm -hmm. counts. So what was your answer? Was it two? Yeah. Good. That's right. Good job. Thanks. So, so, okay. For basically for these, you just have to remember those, those rules. Yeah. So every, if anything's, so I would like look at a number like this first count the number of non-zero digits because they count a hundred percent of the mm -hmm. time. Then look at the leading zeros because they <laughs> essentially never count. Then look at the, it can be called captive zeros, but basically zeros that are in between two non-zero okay. numbers and those count. And then the trailing ones, they count only if the entire number has a decimal in it. Okay. So like, again, if I use this example, like 16 fluid ounces, right? It. Mm -hmm. Um, and if I were to weigh it, like on a scale, it's yeah. definitely not just going to be 16. It can be anywhere from like 16.0 to 16.9. Okay. So, so, okay. So if you know that the rules, you'll be fine with significant figures. Now, 
let's try to incorporate that into your chemistry work. Okay. So, so yeah, if you're doing like chemistry calculations that involve mm -hmm. significant figures, mm -hmm. you're going to be using, first of all, for each of the calculations, use as many significant figures as possible. But when you get your end result, your final answer, you're going to be limited by whichever measurement has the lowest number of significant figures. Okay. So like if I gave you like, so, okay. If I get, if I said like 16 here, if I said 16 fluid ounces of kombucha were mixed with 100.0 milliliters of water to dilute the drink what is the new concentration of the kombucha mixture right mm -hmm. so tell me what the sig figs are for the 16 and the 100.0 Okay. Um, um is it sixteen? I mean, is it two for 16? Mm -hmm. Four for uh, 100.0. Perfect. Now, when you're doing like these calculations, you're going to be using the exact numbers. However, mm -hmm. your final result is going to be limited by the number with the fewest significant figures. So whatever your answer is at the end, how many significant mm -hmm. figures will your answer have? So when, I, I'm not sure. so when I say like it'll be limited by the the mm -hmm. value with the least number of significant figures, that means mm -hmm. that that the least precise measurement brings mm -hmm. the overall precision of the entire calculation down. So your end and your final answer will be will have the same number of significant fig uh, figures. <laughs> Significant figures as uh, whichever uh, value has the lowest number of significant figures. So, so what? Which one has the lowest number of significant figures? Um, sixteen. Yeah, with two, right? Yeah. So your end result, your answer is going to have mm -hmm. two significant figures. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's just, uh, yeah, it's limited by that, uh, by the least precise uh, measurement um, that you make. How, um, how um, do I solve it? Oh, oh, the, the one that I wrote, you can't really, <laughs> you can't really solve it as is. I was just mm -hmm. uh, giving an example. Oh. I mean, you could, honestly. Uh, because like 16 fluid ounces is 473 milliliters. So 100 milliliters is like pretty much, if you were to round it, like a fifth of that. But don't worry too much about that. I just wanted to, to give, uh, give you an example of, of, of some type of question where there's going to be multiple values with different numbers of significant figures and whatever your answer is it's going to be the it's going to be having the lowest number of significant figures um how about um scientific notation i need help on that okay so scientific notation is basically like at first it might seem pretty annoying but later on it becomes like 
probably the best way to do any type of calculation. Like, uh, so essentially what you'd have in scientific notation is you have a number at, in the front, which is called mm -hmm. the mantissa. You don't really need to know that name, but if you wanted to, it's called the mantissa. And you multiply it by 10 to mm -hmm. some type of exponent. Okay, yeah. And the mantissa has to be basically between 1 and, like, 9.9. .9. Like, it, it has to be, like, a, a, like, it can't be two, di two uh, digits. Oh. So, for example, um, so I'll just take these numbers. So 16 mm -hmm. as scientific notation is just going to be 1.6 times mm -hmm. 10 to the first power. Okay. Now, if you just think about it, right? If you just do that yes. calculation, 1.6, what's 10 to the first power? Um, 10. Good. So 1.6 times 10 is what? Let me see. Sixteen. Exactly. So, sixteen in scientific notation is one point six times ten to the first power. Okay. Now let's try point zero five zero. Okay. Um. So. This is this is a number that is less than uh -huh. one, and when it's a number that's less than one, you're going to be multiplying it by ten to a power that is in that that is negative. Oh. Because then that decimal point moves over to the left rather than to the right. Yeah, yeah. So, so first of all, tell me what the mantissa is for. For, for the 0 0.050. The mantissa, again, it's like, so for the previous problem, the mm -hmm. 1.6, that's the mantissa. Oh, um, is it, um, 0 0.05? <laughs> uh, so remember the mant, so I'll write it in the chat. The mantissa must be between one Point mm -hmm. oh and 9.9 .9. so it cannot be something smaller than one and it cannot be something that is you know double digit so it can't be 10. is it zero five zero uh or zero five or just a number five? Yes. Oh, It'll yeah. be five point mm -hmm. zero. Okay. So five point zero times ten. Mm -hmm. To Super. which power? So if you take that five point zero mm -hmm. and you move the decimal point over to make zero point zero five. Mm-hmm. How can you do that? You have to move the decimal point, right? Mm -hmm. To the um, to the right or the left? Uh, what do you think? The right. If it's to the right, it's going to be greater than the five, right? Yeah. But what do we want it to be? Less than the five? Yeah, we want it to be 0 0.05, right? Oh, so we move it to the left. Okay, so if we move it to the left, that exponent is going mm -hmm. to be, is it going to be positive or negative? Um, negative? Yes. So take that 5.0 and... Mm -hmm. How many times, like, how many, like, 
spaces do you move it to the left to get 0 0.05? Um, three. Um, so if we take that 5.0 and we move mm -hmm. it to the left once, you'll get 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. If you move it twice, you'll get 0 0.05. Mm -hmm. If you move it three times, you'll get 0 0.005. Now, so two. Yes. So the exponent will be what? Oh, one. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, I said, oh, sorry. I said uh, the exponent will be uh, what? Okay. I, I mean, not one. I meant, what would the exponent be? Um, two. If it was two, that means we're going to move the decimal point over twice in which direction? Um, left. So... 10 to the second power, what is that? Huh? So what is 10 to the second power, 10 squared? Um, 100. Okay, so if we did 5 times 100, mm -hmm. what would you get? Okay. Don't use a calculator. You said don't use it? Don't use it. Oh, 500. Yes, right? But we yeah. don't want 500, do we? No. So what So what do we want again? Um, we want... Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay, it's in the chat. How do I um look at the chat? Oh, so on the bottom of the Zoom thing, mm -hmm. you should see a button that says chat. If you don't see it, mm -hmm. it should be under where it says more. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um. It's. 0 0.050, right? Yes, we, that's what we want, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so we want uh, the decimal point to move to the right or to the left? The left. Good. And that means the uh, exponent, is it going to be positive or negative? Um, negative. Yes. Now, negative what? Um, negative... One. So if it's negative one, we move it to the left once, right? Yeah. What would you get then? It would be, um, it would be 0.050. Mm, so we're taking the, so we're taking, here, so let me send that in the chat. Okay. So you see where I write 5.0 times 10 to the power that we haven't figured out yet? Mm -hmm. So that is the one that you change, the 5.0. Mm -hmm. So we want that 5.0 to turn into 0 0.05. Okay. So, so to get from 5.0 to 0 0.05, Mm -hmm. Think about it. How many times are we moving that decimal uh, point from the 5.0 mm -hmm. to the left in order to get 0 0.05? Two? Yes. Right? Yeah. If you move it over once, you get 0 0.5. Yeah. Move it over another time, you get 0 0.05. Mm -hmm. So now, what would that exponent be? It, it would be 5.0 times 10 to which power? To um, negative 2. Yes, good. So the sign indicates direction. Yeah. And the number indicates how many times you move over that decimal point. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. So. So okay. So that's just a little example of scientific notation. Let me uh, throw another one at you. Okay. How about? How about this? How about, okay, I'll give you another one that's exactly like this, and then mm -hmm. after that I'm going to give it to you in scientific notation first, and then you're going to turn it into a number, okay? So okay. here I'm going to give you um, 0 0.0174. Oh, sorry about that bracket. Here, let me write that again. That was a little typo. Okay. So 0 0.0174. Yeah. Now, turn that into, write that in scientific notation. So start with the mantissa. Um... Isn't it um, 0 0.17? So remember the mantissa, it has to be between 1.0 and 9.9. <laughs> okay. Is it 174? So is 174 within that? No. Okay. Um, is it 0 0.01? Is that between it? Okay. Is it zero one? How about one point seven four? Oh yeah. That's between one point zero and nine point nine, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, the first step to figure out the the uh, mantissa is to mm -hmm. take that number and mm -hmm. put it into terms uh, or put it into like a value that is between 1.0 and 9.9 .9. and that's okay. just going to be 1.74 right all right so all right yeah. 1.74 times 10 to now tell me if we're going from 1.74 to 0 0.0174 mm -hmm. are we going to move that decimal point to the right or to the left the right um so let's say mm -hmm. we do move it to the right right mm -hmm. is it going to become a larger number or a smaller number a uh, smaller if we move it to the right so so take that no, one no. Point, take that one set 1.74 move that mm -hmm. decimal point over to the right once what do you get 17.4. Is that a bigger number than 1.74? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So if you move anything to the right, you're going to get <laughs> a bigger number. What okay. if you moved it once to the left? What would you get? Um, 0 0.174. Good. Now, what are we trying to get? What what do we want it to be? We want um one point seven four. Oh no no. So uh, we want it to be the zero point zero one seven four, right? Oh, yeah. So, so, how can we do that? It, the, so that's the number that we want, and then we're writing <laughs> it in scientific notation. So. Hmm. We um we move it once, right? If you move to it the... once to mm -hmm. which direction? Huh? Oh, uh, which direction? Um left. So if you move it once to the left, what number do you get? Um zero point one seventy four. Alright, but what number do we want? <laughs> 
Um, zero point one seventy four. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we 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 won't. Uh huh. <laughs> we went one point seven four. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. So the number that we want is zero point zero one seven four. Uh huh. Oh, zero point zero one seven four. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how many times do we move that decimal point over to the left to get zero point zero one seven four? Three. Um. So okay, try it. Two. I I don't know <laughs> which one is it. Two or three. Um, I think it's three. Okay, so move it over to the left three times. What number do you get? Um, point zero zero one seventy four. Now is that the one we want? Oh, we move it twice. Okay, good. Two times. So it's one point seven four times ten to the second power. No. So remember so the signs, right? Negative. Yeah, negative, negative. Second power, right? So it should be one point yeah. seven four times mm-hmm. ten to the negative two power, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've established two things. One, mm-hmm. if we move it to the right, if we move the decimal point to the right it gets larger, right? Yeah. And that corresponds to an exponent that is positive, right? Okay. Now, mm-hmm. if we move it to the left, it gets smaller, right? Yeah. And that corresponds to an exponent that is negative. Okay. So the first thing to ask yourself is, are we trying to get a number that's smaller, or are we trying to get a number that's larger? I'm smaller. Yeah, in these cases, right? Yeah. So, I mean, what if I gave you this 500, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Now, tell me what this would be in scientific notation. What would the mantissa be? Which is, you know, that first number. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, one point six five. Um, five. Good, like 5.0, but yeah, good. Yeah. Times 10 to which power? Um, to the first. Okay, so if we multiply it by 10 to the first power, what would you get? Mm-hmm. Um, 50? Mm-hmm. But what number do no. we want to get? 5.0. Oh, I mean, like, that's the mantissa part, but we want to get 500, right? Yeah. So, if it's times 10 to the first power, you get 50. That's not what we want, mm-hmm. right? We want 500. Mm-hmm. So what power do we raise that 10 by? Um, 10. If it's 10, that means that we move the decimal point over 10 times. Mm-hmm. And then you get like, um, you get like five, like trillion, 50 trillion, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so so just think about it how many times like the five mm-hmm. point zero how many times do you move that decimal point over to get 500 um two times two times right yeah and is it going to be positive two or negative two um positive positive why, why positive because it's going to the right you know and therefore it's getting bigger, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So the answer would be 5.0 times 10 to the second power. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. All right. Now I'm going to ask you this in reverse. 
Okay. So tell me what this is. 1.96 times mm -hmm. 10 to the third power. What is that as a number? So I gave it to you in scientific notation. Tell me what it is <laughs> as a straight up number. Um, 1,960. Good. Because how many times, so you move the decimal point over how many times? Um, three times. And in which direction? To the right. Perfect. Good job. Now what about this? Is it zero point zero one ninety six or point zero zero one ninety six? Uh, which one do you think it is? Um, zero point zero no zero <laughs> zero zero one ninety six. Wait, yeah. wait, where's the decimal point there? But I thought if we put a zero, we don't have to put the decimal point. Mm, I mean, you definitely have to put the decimal point, right? Because it's getting smaller. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So just, like, on your notebook, like, mm -hmm. draw an arrow on mm -hmm. the decimal point. That's, you know, 1.96 on that decimal point, And mm -hmm. move it over to the left three times. And, you know, wherever it ends, that's where the next decimal, that's where the decimal point is going to be now. So it's point zero zero one nine six. Yep. So that's the way to do it. Like, if you're, like, without guessing and stuff, like, I want you to mm -hmm. look at... So first thing I want you to do is see if it's positive or negative, the exponent, right? Mm -hmm. So like 1.96 times 10 to the third power, positive, right? So that yeah. means we're going to take that decimal point and move it to the left or to the right? To the right? Yes. So you take that decimal point and you mm -hmm. move it over to the right three times. And then you yeah. get like uh, 1960, right? Mm -hmm. Now if it's negative, you move it to the left three times. So you move it to the left three times, then you get 0 0.00196. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so if you're, you know, asked that, just uh, do those steps, like write down those steps, like write it out like that. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you know, you won't make a mistake. Okay. Um... Here, I'm going to, uh, here, this is, uh, I'm going to, wait, I'll save the image and then I'll just, um, whoops. All right, I'm going to put it in the chat. Okay, so I sent you something in the chat. It's like a, an image, you click on it and it'll open the image. Tell me when you have the image opened. Um, I didn't get um, no image. Oh no, it, it, you have to click on it first. Like it should say scientific notation JPG, right? You just click on that and it'll open up in a new tab. No, I don't see it. Um, 
All I see is the last um, thing you sent me, the 1.96 times 10 to the negative 3 pounds. Oh, okay, let me try this then. Okay. All right, I sent oh. you a, oh wait, what? Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah. Where'd you go? Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking at the picture. <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay. You see where the picture, it says scientific notation in numbers. Scientific mm -hmm. notation involves moving decimals, right? So you see yeah. it says 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power. Because the <laughs> exponent is positive for you move it at decimal point, and I want you to do it just like they do. Like, you see how they do, like, the little, like, yeah. kind of like a U-shaped thing? Mm -hmm. They move that decimal point over one, two, three, four times, mm -hmm. and that's where the new decimal is. So that's how okay. you get 15,000. Yeah. Now, for the second example, 5.8 times 10 to the negative 4 power, since the exponent is negative 4, you mm -hmm. take... The, you move that decimal point over to the left four times. Yeah. So on like, you know, so I want you to do that like mm -hmm. whenever you're asked to like literally see like, okay, is it positive or negative? If it's positive, I'm moving the decimal point over to the right however mm -hmm. many times I need to. Mm -hmm. And if it's negative, I'm going to move that decimal point to the left however many times I need to. Okay. Um, any questions about any of that? No. Okay. Um. Here, I'll give you another problem. So, okay. 0 0.00137, convert that into scientific notation. And use the image thing I sent you, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm just going to use the bathroom real quick. All right. Um, is it 1.37 times 10 to the negative 4 power? So close. Is it 5? Mm, so, try... So, the 1.37, right? Mm -hmm. How many times do you move that to get the 0 0.00137? Um, three. Yes. So it's 1.37 times 10 to the negative three power? Got it. Okay. What about this? Is it one point? 
Is it 1.52? Is that the thinking? Oh, you keep all those digits, so it would be 1.5237? Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. And then, what's the rest? Um, I don't know. <laughs> try, try, try it out. So, like, 1.5... Two, three, seven. Don't let like the extra, you know, numbers like you know, mm -hmm. scare you. Yeah. Times ten to which power? So, how do you get from one point five two three seven to, mm -hmm. you know, fifteen thousand two hundred and thirty-seven? You're gonna be moving a decimal point over which way? The right. Mm hmm. And how many times to the right? Four. Perfect. So what will your answer be? Um, 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power. So remember you keep no, all that? Yes. No, 1, 1, 5, 2, 3, 7 times 10 One to point? the fourth power. No. 1.5237, right? No, 1, 1, oh yeah. Okay, so tell me. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what is it? So, it's 1.5, 2, 3, 7 times 10 to the fourth power. Perfect. Yeah. I'm just going to throw some more at you. Mm-hmm. All right, how about this one? Really, um, will it be, um, 5.9000005 to the seventh power? Perfect. You're getting the hang of this. What about yeah. this one? Um, Is it one one twenty three point zero Remember that first number? The mantissa has to be between one point zero and nine point nine. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's gonna be twelve point three. Mm, it has to be like less than nine point nine or equal to. Or equal. Oh, Can't yeah. be two digits. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Is it two? Is it um three point zero? Mm, so okay, just like you did the previous one with the five nine, you know five mm -hmm. zeros and the five, and you were able to determine that it was five point nine zero 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 five. Yeah. <laughs> Do that same thing for this. Okay. Like you want, yeah. Um, is it 12? Mm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Um, 3.0 times 10 to the third power? Uh, okay, so it'll be 
23025. Oh. You see that? Mm hmm. Okay. Times 10 to which power? Six. Um, well, you're trying to get 123.025, right? Mm hmm So, from 1.23025, mm -hmm. how many times do you move that decimal point to get 123.025? Um, Five times five. So, okay, so we're trying to go from 1.23025 to mm -hmm. 123.025. Okay. So, how many times do you move that decimal point to get the 123 point? Like, oh. the, yeah? Uh, two times. Yep. So your answer would be 1.23025 times 10 <laughs> to the second power, right? Yeah. All right. We're going to do one more. Okay. Point zero 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 five zero two five. Is it um Is it five zero two point five times ten to the seventh power? Oh so there should be a decimal in there. Where's the decimal? Five zero two point five. Mm, remember that first number has to be less than ten. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. oh um is it five Point zero two five. Yep. Okay. Times what? Okay, it's five point zero two five times ten to the fifth power. Is it? Right? We're trying to get. We're trying to get something, that we're trying to get, zero point zero 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 five zero two five, right? Which is smaller, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm So, is that exponent going to be positive or negative? Oh, it's going to be negative. Good. So, what would it be? 5.025 times 10 to the negative power. Perfect. All right? Mm hmm Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Any other questions? I think uh, we're just doing an hour today? Yeah. Okay. So I hope that uh, cleared some things up about significant figures and scientific notation. Yeah, it did. Thank you. Yep, no problem. And um, yeah, if you yeah need anything else, just you know <laughs> feel free to email me and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's it, right? Uh huh. All right. So yeah, try to try to like find some more practice problems on like Google, <laughs> and uh, okay. 
you know, make it so you, you know, it's like second nature. Like, all right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care, okay? Okay, you too. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Is that your, That's your brother? Thank you so much. Oh, hey. Thank you. Hey. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm good. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need your help, please, okay? And we're going to be in touch. We're going to awesome. see. Awesome. Thank okay. you. All right. I'm okay, glad uh, I was able to help. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Have a good Bye. one. Take care. Bye.